This video demonstrates the process of entering and saving grades in classroom management. The first area that we are going to look at is My Summary Grid. I can access that through My Recents or I can use the Personalized menu. So that is under Gradebook, My Summary Grid. you can minimize that side menu. The changes that we are look, going to be looking at are for assignments that are linked to either a, a skill, standard, or competency. If there are no skills, standards, or competencies associated with a specific assignment, the entry is going to be as it always has been. Because there is a, in this case, a standard associated with that competency, with this assignment, this window opens and it is this window specifically that has the added save included. So if I start entering in grades, I'm going to click on the cell first. You'll notice that the cell is outlined in green and this message popped up with a date time stamp of when the last save occurred. These grades here have already been were, were entered and previously saved. So I need to compute my standards and now those grades have been saved. If I scroll down to those students and we are all set. So the next area we're going to look at is under the assignments editor. So if we go to gradebook, my assignments, if we click on the A plus there to grade an assignment through here, you'll see that same window opens up. Now this assignment happens to not have any standards associated with it, but that same behavior will, will happen. So if Jennifer got perfect skills, the cell that was just recently saved will be outlined in green with the green check mark and this message will be displayed. The next area is under Grades, Editing, and View Enter My Skills Grades by Student or View Enter My Skills Grades by Skill. And we'll take a look at both of those areas. You'll notice that there is a new button added to the screen, the Save All, which is currently disabled. I'm going to click on the pencil to enter a skills grade for a specific student and watch that save all button as I enter in the first the grades for the first two skills. Two things happen. My save all button is now enabled and I can click on it and the cell for the grade that I just entered is outlined in a dark purple bluish border. So it really stands out as to which grades have just been entered or modified. Now if I click Save All and it did refresh, so if I open up Charlie's grades again, you'll see that those first two grades and the change that I made have now been saved. The other area is under Grades, Editing, and View Enter My Skills Grades by Skill. We select the skill that we want to edit, click on view enter skills grades, and there's Charlie again. So we'll use uh, final average and this is going to behave just as we saw with the other one. So I'm hinting enter, four, enter, three, enter, two, enter. Everything that has not been saved yet is outlined in that very thick purple blue border. Now what happens if you happen to de get disconnected from the internet while you're entering in grades? I am going to log back in using my recents area I'm going back to skills entry by skills this was the skill I was editing as soon as I enter in that area this message pops up do you have unsaved changes from your last session do you wish to save them now definitely going to say OK and they're the, the four grades, the final average grades that I had entered in my previous session and they are now saved.